what's up everybody and welcome to a new video so it is weekly argument time where every week we're going to argue about what eminem songs are the best and what eminem songs are the worst and we're going to have a big war in the comments and it's going to be very fun so we're going to start with my least favorite eminem album i think which is infinite for like that's probably most people's least favorite album just because you know he hadn't really found himself yet so the way i'm going to be ranking this is only comparing it to Eminem's music. I'm only going to be comparing the songs on Infinite to the songs on Infinite and not his other albums. I'm going to be giving you my opinion of the songs that I like the most from the album and songs that also have some kind of legendary status. I'm going to keep that in mind when ranking. So the S tier is the songs that I love. A tier is songs that I really love but can't quite put them in S tier. B are songs that I like. C is songs that are all right. And D is songs that I just don't really care for, period. We're going to start off with The Goat Infinite. S tier. Now, I feel like most of you guys will probably agree. Just a really good song. The overall vibe is cool. Best song on the album. I think it's the only S tier song on the album. I feel like most people will agree, but we'll see. And when you guys are arguing in the chat, we'll find out. I feel like it's an easy one. I'm going to start with the second easiest one. 313. Is it S tier? No. Is it A tier? Also no. It's going in the B tier for me. I like the song. Don't love it. Don't really love it. The feature verse was all right. It would have been better if it was just Eminem by herself. I do like Eminem's verse in this song. I, you know, I really like some of the lines that he has. Like, for example, I'll run your brain around the block to jog your fucking memory. Uh, I stopped the alphabet at S and got it down to a T. You know, there's a lot of lines that I think are really cool. I think overall it is the second best song on the album, in my personal opinion. So, up next... We're going to go with It's OK. With It's OK, I'm going to say It's OK. <laughs> right? Um, it's OK, but everything is OK. I'm all night and everything is all right. I don't know. Like, I do like the vibe of the song. I, I Eminem on this album in general, he, he does have a lot of really cool rhyme schemes. Uh, very dense, like, on pretty much every song. It's all right, you know? There are, there are a lot of songs I don't really like at all, maybe because of content-wise and stuff. But it's definitely one of the songs where I'm like, yeah, it's, it's all right. I don't mind it. So up next, we're going to go for Searching. And I'm going to leave it right where it is in D. Let me move all of these down into this row. Okay, so the reason why I'm putting Searching in D, I just don't really like the vibe of the song. I feel like... I've been searching, like, dun, 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 dun in my life, baby. I just don't really like the vibe of, like, the hook and stuff. Um, I don't really like the, the what he's talking about in the song. I feel like he has some really dope rhyme schemes and very condensed multis, which he just does very well on this whole album. But, yeah, for me personally, searching isn't really up there for me. Okay, so up next, we're going to go with Open Mic. Open Mic is going to be a C for me. It's another one where vibe-wise, I like it more than like searching and songs of that type. It is more of my cup of tea, I guess I would say. Once again, I like the multis and stuff. I just like it's more of like a cocky, battle rappy kind of vibe, I guess. I just like that more personally than songs like searching so also you know eminem calls back to this in in the song i think it's the one with buckshot like who the fuck passed you the mic i never asked you to like my shit from the get i'd rather ask you to wipe my ass bitch you had you a nice run i take a hike i have a meet my match i'm gonna strike that bitch first i think i think it's don't front and he calls back to this song i think it's all right i, I like the song i like the song it's 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 all right. So up next, we got Tonight. And Tonight, I'm going to put in the D tier. I don't really like the vibe of the hook. Tonight, in the one of five, and I'm in the and I'm right. I don't really like it. I feel like Eminem's verse is definitely well packed with rhyme schemes. And I've got the lyrics up here just to 
to just point some shit out. So the way he rhymed, like we travel in packs, unraveling facts and graveling cracks to babbling max, scaffolding tax, I grapple a knack, feeling baffling axe, stabbing the back, stabbling wax. Like there were very condensed rhyme schemes on that. So like he is rapping really well throughout the whole album. Like I keep <laughs> repeating, it is very multi heavy throughout this album, which definitely prepared him for his future, which really he actually dumbed down his latest stuff in terms of multi-syllable rhymes and stuff like that. It, it worked for him with the whole change of style. So yeah, that's my thoughts on tonight. Okay, so the next song is going to be Never Too Far. This one for me is also a C. Uh, I quite like this one. First of all, I love the intro, you know, just think how far Eminem has came, you know, Val Ritchie is now. And in the beginning of this song, literally talking about, have you got money for the bus? It's crazy, like, the situation he was in when he recorded this album, you know? Baby on the way, or or, or really had the baby at this time. Got Haley struggling, trying to make it in rap, trying to make ends meet, being broke, kicked out of his apartment, not having money for the bus. All of these struggles he was going through at the time while making this album. It's just crazy to think about and crazy to think the kind of life that he had at a much younger age than what I am now, you know? Uh, he was already fucking million, 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 millionaire by the time he was my age, which is crazy. So yeah, I I like the stuff he's talking about on the song. You could do anything, it's all you, baby, no matter where you are. I quite like the, the hook and stuff. And just the vibe of the song, what he was talking about. Okay, so my next one is going to be Maxine. And uh, this is a D tier for me. Maxine, I just didn't really like the just what he was talking about in the song. Like, this girl Maxine, she was a crack fiend. She tests positive and then told me that her act's clean. And she got a sugar daddy. I don't know, it was just the, the what he was talking about in the song just didn't really interest me much. He's rapping well on it as always, but... Yeah, I just weren't really feeling this song too much. Next, I'm going to do Backstabber. Backstabber is also a D, D tier for me. And the reason why is it's like this storytelling song, but I just didn't really, once again, I didn't really care for the the content of the song, of what he was talking about and stuff. I didn't really enjoy it. Um, I didn't enjoy the way he went about it, like just the way he was rapping it as well. I don't know. It was very like old school, like, storytelling like some slick rick type shit and yeah i just i didn't really mess with it that much the last but not least song jealousy woes 2 is going in c tier for me so the reason why i'm putting jealousy woes in the c tier is just because i like the concept of the song what he's talking about the way he rhymes it the rhyme schemes he chooses to use i just like the overall vibe of the song so i put it in c tier so all of these songs, I don't love them. They're just all right. D tier, I'm not really too keen on the songs. Infinite is the only song, if I'm honest, that I actually listen to from this album. Sometimes I'll give 313 Eminem's verse a cheeky listen. But for the most part, it's just Infinite. Infinite is a very good song. Definitely an S tier. And yeah, that is my ranking. So I want you guys to leave a comment say s and put all the songs that are in s tier a all the songs that are in a tier and so on and everybody just leave a comment with your tier list let's have an argument let's this let's this have a punch up in the in the chat that's that's what i'm saying this you know fists up do you know what i mean and just oh, ah in the comments that's what i want right next week slim shady lp it's gonna be a juicy one and i'll see you then Peace. Take shots like man, I got stripes down coming for the cross sites. Hit a bullseye, man, I never took a loss sight. Never took an L, man, I never let it cross my mind. With force like mine, man, I never let up on my get up on a fill up of the game. I'll do it for the fame and I'm coming for your head top. Red dot bullet going straight for your brain. Coming with a lyrical energy, coming straight for the enemy. The one money you can feel like a bullet for Kennedy. And they probably want to get it, that's cool. People want to use me, I ain't no fool. Cause I've been living my dream from a kid. I did it on my own.